In this class, we are going to learn how to expose our integration that is built with the help of Oracle Integration 3 as a SOAP web service with the help of a visitor. Now, before going into the hands-on and see how to create our integration and expose it as a SOAP web service, we will first have a look at what do we mean by the SOAP web service and what is a visitor. I am here in the W3Schools documentation page on the XML SOAP. I will provide the reference link in the documentation section. You can go through this documentation with the help of that link. Now coming to the SOAP, it stands for the Simple Object Access Protocol. So this is important for the web applications in order to able to communicate over the internet. Currently SOAP web services are very rarely used due to the widespread adoption of the RESTful web services. Most of the time we will be using the RESTful web services or the REST based web services. So, in order to communicate with the help of this SOAP standards, we need to have this envelope created with the help of which we can send the SOAP message that is in the XML document. So, this will have a header, body and the fold. So, it will look something like this and in order to create a SOAP envelope, we have to define the message with the help of the WSDL. So, what do you mean by the WSDL is? WSDL stands for the Web Service Description Language. We hope you know all those terminologies before learning this Oracle integration concepts. In order to construct the visual, we need to have this definition within that we will be having the type where we will define the XML schema or the XSD. Then we will have a message, port type, bindings and so on and so forth things. So this was the high level documentation go through on SOAP web service as well as on the visual. I have already created a sample visual. So this is having two input parameters or the element that is number one and the number two. So I am calling my web service as a addition service where I will add the two numbers which I will get in the input and in the response I will send the addition of two numbers which we were getting in the request like number 1 plus number 2. Suppose number 1 is 1, number 2 is 2 then the response in add element will be 3, 1 plus 2 is 3. So this is one of the sample visitors. So you can make use of any of your visitors like if you are exposing your visitor as per your customer or any business need you can have this visitor created by yourself or you can ask the resource whoever is having expertise on creating the web services. So this is the prerequisite you need to have the visual. Next step is we have to create the connections. Suppose if you get stuck anywhere while practicing these classes you can have a look at the documentation page by Oracle. I am here in the official documentation page by Oracle that is on using SOAP adapter with Oracle integration 3. Here Oracle has documented in detail documentation about how to create a connection with the help of this SOAP. Then how we can add the SOAP adapter connection to an integration, how we can expose it as an invoke or as a trigger, so on and so forth things. And also there are few use cases. You can practice those use cases if you want to have the more control on the Oracle integration skill. Now let me go back to my Oracle integration instance and proceed ahead with my SOAP connection creation. So once you go to this designer view, then you have to go to this connections, click on the create button. Here you need to search for the SOAP. It's over here, select this. We need to provide the name, I will give as a demo SOAP trigger connection. Identifier, it will auto populate, if not you can give your own unique identifier. Next it will ask the role, as we are creating this connection explicitly in order to expose our integration as a SOAP web service, I will select this as a trigger. If we use this as a trigger, then we have to use this connection only as a first entry point in our integration flow. We cannot use this connection in any other place other than the first invocation point. Suppose if we configure it as an invoke, then we cannot use that particular connection as a starting point like a trigger. But rather we can use this invoke connections in between the flow. Like in order to call any web service, get the data like the BIP reports and so forth things. Suppose if we configure any connection as a trigger or invoke, then we can make use of those SOAP connections or any connection as a trigger point that is the first action in building our integration flow as well as in the subsequent actions within the integration flow, both the places. Now I will select this as a trigger, click on create. Now it is asking for a visual URL. Suppose if you are having a live visual URL, you can paste it over here. I have created a sample over here, I will upload the same thing. Click on this upload button and select the file. It is over here, click on open and click on upload. By default security policy will be username password, I will keep this as a default and click on test. Click on test, yeah our connection soap trigger was successfully tested. 
click on save and go back we have successfully created our soap connection you must get the status as configured when you create any connection it shouldn't be in the draft stage next we are going to create a integration click on create button over here and select the type as application from here i will provide the name as demo int soap trigger identify it well auto populate documentation url if you anything you can provide all those things will be same as we had discussed in our earlier classes click on create button now as soon as the integration designer canvas opens up it will open up the pop up wherein it will show the list of all the connections which are configured with the trigger role now we are having this only one connection in this instance as this is a new instance so it is showing demo soap trigger is available as a trigger role so we can directly click this and configure the details in the configuration wizard i will provide the name as trigger point you can name as per your project standards click on next here it will ask to select the service i will select here get addition if your wizard is having n number of services or the ports it will ask for the us to select the operation in my case i am having only get addition over here it is asking only one in the list over here get addition operation next if you want to disable the soap validation all those things you can do next that is headers if you want to configure any headers you can select as yes or no also you can have a soap headers over here i have not added but in your visual if you are having a soap headers it will show over here next coming to the request headers and the summary click on done i will change the view of this to horizontal from the vertical yeah it will look something like this now let me just zoom out little bit now we will get a message and in the message we will having a two numbers that is number 1 and the number 2 now in the response what i will do is i will add those numbers and return back but in your actual use case you, once you receive the input you might be required to insert the data into database call any web service those things you can do so those things we will learn in our subsequent classes how we can call a database with the help of the database adapter also we will look how we can orchestrate that is call any web services rest or so within the flow as a invocation now for this use case what i will do is i will open up this mapper in edit mode i will enable this accessibility and developer mode over here i will drag this number 1 as well as the number 2 over here it is not allowing like we have in the visual builder what i will manually do is i will put the add symbol or the plus symbol addition symbol and i will just drag and drop this number 2 over here click on validate yeah now we will test this mapper by clicking on this play button i will click on this generate inputs over here number 1 is populated as 1 number 2 as 2 fine let me just execute and in the response i am getting 3 so this mapper is working fine click on validate and go back so our integration is completed we are having a basic integration wherein we are getting the message as a soap web service wherein we have exposed our integration over a soap endpoint we are getting two numbers from the request as a xml element that is number 1 number 2 and in the response we are adding the two numbers what we got in the request and sending back click on save next we need to add the business identifiers so click on this so i will add business identifier as number 1 if you want you can add number 2 as well for the business identifier 2 done just click on this again so that the business identifier wizard will go off click on save and go back now i will activate this integration i will select as production sorry i will select this debug and click on activate so you can refresh this in order to know whether our integration got activated successfully Con currently the status is activation in progress Click, let me just refresh yeah now it is in active mode suppose if it was a rest based integration like what we had seen in our first class wherein we had learned how to create our very first integration with oracle integration 3 we had a option to test this integration right from this integration instance but in the case of the soap what we have to do is we have to make use of some other products or the tool in order to test the web service 
Now what I will do is I will open up the SOAP UI and configure the details. I have configured the SOAP endpoint over here in the SOAP UI tool. I hope you already know how to use the SOAP UI tool. You can use any of the tool of your choice whichever is available on your organization in order to consume or test the web service. Now I have populated the numbers over here that is number 1 and number 2 and when I test I will get the response as 3. Suppose I will make this as 7 and click on test. So this time I am getting 9 that is 7 plus 2 is 9. So like this we can expose our integration as a SOAP web service and build the SOAP based web services seamlessly with very low code using integration 3 instance. Now you might get a question like how we can get the visual URL in order to configure the SOAP UI project so that we can test. In order to get the visual URL what you have to do is you have just need to hover over this status over here and click on these options. Now here there is an option called as run details click on this. When you click on that you will get a URL that is starting with https colon slash slash and ending with question mark and the visual. You need to just right click over here and copy link then you can make use of this link in order to configure the SOAP UI project. Suppose if you want to know how to run you can just click on this hyperlink that is how to run. Here Oracle has documented in detail about how you can test your integrations which are exposed as a SOAP based web services. In our next class we will learn how we can invoke any web services within the integration flow by creating a connection with the invoke role.